I haven't done any talking today, but what we've done today is we enjoyed a nice spa time, which was really nice. What did you think, Chris? You enjoyed it? Chris enjoyed the spa. I got the sweetest massage. Chris got the deep tissue because he's got all those big muscles to work out. Um, they sounded like they were beating Chris up, so must have been good. Uh, and then we enjoyed lunch at the World Cafe, uh, which was good. They had a lot of good options. The tacos were delicious. Pizza was meh. Sushi was okay. It was something to have. Dessert was disappointing. I mean, I love chocolate covered pretzels and the pretzels were stale. That was very sad. But there was a lot of different options there all the time. Um, enjoy the pool time. The phone party. That was very uh, fun and very interesting. That was a really good time. And now we're going to Seaside Grill, correct? Yeah. So Seaside Grill, which is their steak house by the pool where you can have lunch there as well that's why we can dress a little bit more casually um i'll talk about it more later but their dress code for some of the restaurants is a little odd especially the buffet so um but we're gonna get some steak tonight and all kinds of delicious things so let's get some food by the water <laughs> Super fun night with steak, a fire show, and some football. They also had the baseball game on, which we weren't that interested in. But it was a great day once again. Tomorrow's our last day here in Mexico. Um, and we got some really fun stuff to look forward to. Hibachi. We got some more beach time because it's just it's beautiful out here. So we'll see you guys in the morning for breakfast. Oh, and an extra little spa thing tomorrow as well. All right, see you guys in the morning. Bye. The next day. Good morning. It is our final day at the resort. We're gonna go do a little foot treatment at the spa and then who knows, we'll see if breakfast is still open. I don't know. So let's get this adventure started on our last day in, in where are we at? Cozumel. Cas Cancun, jeez.
Chinese dinner on our trip, and we're going to the Hibachi restaurant. <laughs> so um, this is the only restaurant on property that you need to make a reservation for. <laughs> so and it's very popular with limited seats. So I would recommend making it on your first day. We made it the second day, and we weren't able to get a, a decent time until our very last day today. So uh, we're gonna go get Hibachi now. So I'll see you guys there. <laughs> So what did you think of the hibachi? It's good. It was good. It was really good. It was a good show. Um, I personally wish that they had like a yum yum sauce or something, but that's just me, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's our final review of the restaurant. But let's talk about our overall review of the resort. Uh, I want to talk about entertainment and the staff and food. Okay. Entertainment staff, they were great. Uh, they they tr definitely tried to remember our names and um, make it personal and things like that and get us involved in the activities. Uh, very popular was volleyball, was pool volleyball. Chris also played kickball, um, but also they got you excited for the shows at, the n at night and stuff like that. And I thought they were really great, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and then just overall staff. Um, I thought everyone was, everyone's obviously super nice um, and really friendly. Um, I think the pool staff were good. I think that it took them a while a lot of the times to bring you drinks, but there was a Soma Bar if you wanted to use that. So that was just kind of our personal preference to not go over to Soma Bar because we never found a seat over there. But um, we had two different concierges just because of their, their schedule. Um, very friendly, very informative, giving us all the information that we need for the resort. Um, and then let's talk about food. Um, I didn't have a bad meal here. Everything was delicious. Don't you agree? Yeah, so everything was really delicious. I would say one of the only things I didn't like was all the restaurants have a dress code. Um, most of them are understandable. All of the interior dining rooms are pants and dress shirts for men and um, I don't even think you have to wear a dress, but you know, looking nice for women and stuff like that. Uh, the two restaurants that you eat at for dinner by the pool, you can wear, is more casual. You can wear, men can wear shorts. I wore Capri, Jean Capri's one night. One of the things that really bothered me was the buffet. Okay, for dinner, do what you want, I guess. I, I don't really get their dinner. You know, I think you have to wear pants there as well for dinner. But for breakfast and lunch, the, the men's requirements is absurd um and only because you have to wear a shirt with sleeves as a man chris the first day we got here changed into a tank top and they said that we couldn't eat there which i thought was very an odd policy especially that's kind of like where everyone goes to breakfast and then you would go out to the pool also it's just it's a buffet it's a buffet why are you requiring men's with, with sleeves, especially when you have women with uh, cover-ups, like I had a cover-up and mine are tank top cover-ups, and also women with really sheer cover-ups. So I don't get the the difference. I don't get what, you know, the dress code requirement on that, but any anyways. So overall, it was a really great experience, don't you think? Yeah. And would you come back to a secret resort? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we probably wouldn't come back to this one just because we've been here and we like to check out different resorts, but I would definitely come back to a different secret resort. Here in Cancun, they literally gave us a map at the airport and the entire strip down the coast 
is Secrets Resort, Sandal Resort, Stream, all different types of companies that are all inclusive resorts. So I would say we would definitely check out another resort, maybe not in Mexico, maybe in, in Nassau, Jamaica or something like that. But I think it was really great. Um, and as you know, we cruise a lot. So how would you compare this to cruising? About the same. I'd say it's about the same, minus being on the water. Yeah, you have those unknown days of rough seas, so obviously you're eliminating that. With us living in Florida, it's really easy for us to get on cruise ships, so that's probably what I would say is any of one of the downfalls. Um, when doing a resort is you're basically using two days for travel. We left super early our first day, so we were able to enjoy the afternoon and evening here. But tomorrow, we're, we're basically we're going to get breakfast and head to the airport. So you use two of your vacation days for travel, basically. So that would be the only downfall, I would say, compared to cruising. Just for us, because like I said, it's easy for us to get to the ports. But it was an amazing resort. They were really helpful. Everyone's very friendly. I had a great time. Yeah, bring plenty of singles to tip. Yeah, make sure you tip these people, you know, we're in Mexico, what's the exchange rate? A dollar is 15, dollar, 15 pesos, I believe. One, dollar, one US dollar is 19 pesos. Yeah, so, um, you know, tip some money, it's always nice. Um, tomorrow, we're leaving in the morning, like I said, we're just going to get breakfast and travel home. So, this is going to be the end of the video, I'll just put in a little travel time and stuff like that. Maybe a little pup video when we get home and see how excited they are, so... Thanks for joining us on this adventure. It was super fun. We had a great honeymoon. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.